Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexander Lehin and M. Sifuentes. This game was played in Madrid in 1941. Alexander Lehin had white pieces and he started with e4. Sifuentes played c5 Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4, white to move. Knight to c3 is the most played move. Alehin played f3, g6, c4, so we have Marozzi bind. Bishop to g7, knight to c3, Sifuentes castle kingside, bishop to e3, knight to c6, queen to d2, preparing to castle queenside, a6, bishop to e2, knight to d7, knight to b3, b6, intending to fianchetto the bishop to b7, white to move. Alehin played bishop to h6 with a simple plan, exchanging dark square bishops, pushing h-pawn, opening the h-file, bringing the queen to h6, forcing the defender of h7 to go somewhere to another square, delivering checkmate on h7. Very simple plan. Can it work? Let's have a look. Bishop to b7. h4. Knight to f6. Is this preventing h5? Hmm? No. Alehin played h5. Knight to e5. About knight takes on h5. Is this a good move? What happens if knight takes on h5? If knight takes on h5, then rook takes knight. And after pawn takes rook, queen to g5, and how to save the king? There is no way to save the king. After some random move, queen takes on g7 checkmate. Okay, back to our game. In the game we have knight to e5. Knight to d4, e6, perhaps preventing knight to d5. h takes on g6, knight takes on g6, bishop takes bishop, king takes bishop, queen to h6, check. Everything works as planned. King to h8, why to move? Next is forcing the defender of h7 square to go to another square. How do you do that? How would you force this knight to go somewhere else? Alehin played g4. Black is lost. But he continued. We know why. He continued. Because if he resigned, people watching this on YouTube would complain. So he played a few more moves. Knight to f4. Queen takes knight e5 forking two pieces queen to h6 e takes on d4 g5 d takes on c3 white play the move and black resigned the move is pawn takes knight black resigned in view of this continuation queen takes pawn on f6 and now the obvious Queen takes on h7, check, mate. This is a textbook example how to attack castled king. Bishop is fianchettoed on g7. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.